Hey friends, welcome or welcome back to another video. Last week here on the homestead, we were working on building a new chicken coop and we had this great idea to reuse the siding off of this shed that's actually up by the cabin. But then we decided a better idea even than that was to actually convert this shed over to a temporary chicken coop for our 12 egg layer chickens. We had eight and we just picked up four more chickens, which you guys can see here. So let's show you what we did. You guys might remember back in the fall, we had built this cute little chicken run and that is our little coop that we had built at our old house. It was about four feet by four feet and it was perfect for our original six little chickens. We ended up losing one and then we gained an additional three chickens. So now we had started out this year with eight chickens. Now it was a bit tight for them in that coop. So we knew that when we got new chickens or added to our flock this year, we were gonna have to go and build a bigger chicken coop. Now that chicken coop was designed to be a stationary coop on the house section of the land. And we had planned to basically start building that now because we had ordered four more ready to lay chickens. They're Plymouth Broad Rock. They are so beautiful and we're so excited that they are finally here. Well, I mean, it can mount right to the siding. Yeah, but wouldn't you want to have some sort of studding in behind it? Depends what the siding Depends is, Depends on think. what the siding is, yeah. Yeah. Because then we're going to have to build a section of wall. Hey, I have an idea. Two. Let's go take all the red siding off the stupid shed. Let's go and measure how tall it is. <laughs> Why don't we just put the chickens in there? We could for now. <laughs> Not really. Sure we could. <laughs> what are we going to use that for? Not a damn thing. How do they get out? To the run. Can't get to the run. Can't get to a run right now, but we can just have an it's opening It's also way the heck up there. Like it's by the cabin. Yes, we need to finish this, but if we can't get them in here. That's a that's a good idea. Would we take the run up there? Well, I think for now it's just going to be the chickens in, in the barn shed thing. Just to keep them inside? No, let them out into the wild. Oh, stop. We'll go back. Not the new ones. Yeah. You put them in and you leave them in there for three days, remember? No. Yes. Oh, my God. No. Yep, let's do it. That's a great idea. <laughs> my wife, she's a genius. <laughs> Not really. Yeah, I think we tarp the floor but off. Sometimes I have good ideas. Tarp the floor off and and prep that. Retrofit the shed up there. You may remember the little red shed that was up on the hill behind the path by the outhouse and sort of near where I built the composter. There you can see it in the background. And basically this was a insulated little hut that we can't really figure out what the use was, um, but it had some shelving inside and like a countertop. And so from here, we are going to see what we can do to retrofit it to make it work for our chickens. All right, and here we are back inside the shed. Basically, you have this really fun foil on the inside of the exterior. So it's on the outside of the studding, but it's more of like a foil insulation. And then we've got some, you know, maybe beds. I'm not even sure. They kind of look like beds, but there's no heating. There's some pl like plugs and stuff, but I'm not even sure. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to take out everything that's in there, move that countertop section down uh, behind the door, and then we're going to give the chickens about two thirds of the interior space. We'll set up a barricade basically with chicken wire and our nest boxes and the end of the countertop there. 
Um, and then we've got ourselves a little gate to get inside and then we can basically give the chickens the full rest of the space. Literally, this building is a hunk of junk. Yeah, yeah. It's, I'll, I'll show you guys the outside. It's, it's, I mean. Oh, let's not do that. So luckily we're just gonna put a dozen chickens in here. It's fine. As long as it doesn't slide off the mountain. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and we might even use the siding that's on this to clad their new roots, their new uh, coop. Yeah, well that's where the idea for this whole thing came from. Yeah. The, <laughs> the only issue is there's no grass out there and it's three feet deep. Right, like right now. Yeah. Well, normally if there is snow, you just throw a straw on top. They're fine walking around on the snow as long as there's straw in it. Yeah. And it's melting. Not at this moment, because it's snowing out there, but... Yeah, it's a snow rain. I don't, I don't know what they use this for. So there's a, an area right over here. Right down there, where there was a wood stove, or a propane stove at least. Yeah, maybe propane. Maybe that was like a cook stove, because it has the metal around the back, and then there's a propane line that comes up here. Right there. <laughs> but it stops there. Yeah. stops there and it doesn't go outside yeah i don't know but there's a hole right there for, for a chimney like a chimney for like the wood stove i don't know i'd love to hear possibilities about what you guys <laughs> think that this could have been used for because we have beds what looks like bunk beds in behind us four bunk beds how would you get up there and who would, that's probably where you put your gear. Sure. But why would the, you have such a, like, why wouldn't you put the big one on the bottom and the smaller one on yeah. the top for bags? I don't know. Or maybe you wanted to sleep up there because it was warmer. Psh, it's right? a hunt camp, right? This was a hunt camp. So it's possible that, like, yeah. it wasn't that cold. Mm -hmm. A little tiny wood stove would be fine, even in a basically not insulated building. Yeah. No big deal. Okay, let's go have a look at the outside area. So, this is us outside. Like there's lots of open area for yeah. a run. Like this is perfect really. So I mean there's lots of open area might and just go through here with like a weed whacker and there's also this side cabins right over there yeah <laughs> but but that right there is exactly but everything is made on. <laughs> yeah. That is to kick this granite. Oh yeah. Gotta love the hawthorns. Come through with your chainsaw and just mow all this down. Yeah. And then we'll put them here. Somehow. Okay, so we're in the shed. Which now that I think about it, it might have been an ice fishing shack. Um, there's holes or patches in the floor where you could have easily had holes to fish through. Um, don't know that for sure, but that would explain the foil back insulation and the areas to put your stuff while you're fishing. But it's just a guess because we don't know. But I'm going to dismantle the bunks. Um, and then there's a little table in the other corner there. That's going to disappear. And then we're going to probably use one of the bunks, the lower sections, to 
create a platform that the roll away nest boxes are going to sit on that the chickens can then lay their eggs. So I'm going to take down the uppers and then you know give a sweep probably going to be reusing most of the material because it's just a temporary spot that we're going to house the chickens until we get the new coop done. Okay, so uh, what I've done was I've ripped the plywood that was on the platforms or beds, decks, whatever you want to call them, um, in half essentially. And I'm going to put the wood around the bottom of the coop so that way the shavings doesn't get into the um, studs behind the, the chicken mesh, right, the chicken wire. And then this is a little platform where we're going to put the nesting boxes. So they'll be able to jump up, use the nesting box. We'll be able to get the eggs without having to go in the coop. So the next step is going to be to put the mesh on the wall and then uh, Put the plywood over top so the sharp edge of the mesh isn't, you know, prominent. Then I'll be able to put the roosting bars on the wall after I put the mesh. Because once, once you put the roosting bars on, it's impossible to get the mesh around and be all nice and clean. So I'll put the mesh on first. And then we'll put the roosting bars. get all these signs from. It's cool though.
기르나요? 야. Maybe. Because we're gonna have to cut the metal still. Yeah. We can cut that off a little bit, and then be uh, a lot easier to maneuver. And then it's just shaky in here. Oh god, yeah. And then it's just the back, just to section off the areas, and we're pretty much done. That would have been easier with a, a nice new blade on it. <laughs> it's okay, Pop. It's okay. Hmm. Yeah. That's why he hasn't been in here the whole time. That's right. All right, come on, Pop Dog. Let's go. <laughs> Don't have to tell him twice. He's yeah. like, get me the F out of here. There's a door. It's open. What are you doing? Trying to reuse this eye bolt. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to work. I'm going to have to pre-drill, I think. Mm. I don't want it to start busting everything out, so. Yeah, it's just a cheap-ass cheap plywood, so. Well, this is signed plywood. Mm-hmm. Okay, so today I'm going to build a, just a mesh wall that's going to go across to keep the chickens on this side of the shed. Um, and that's going to include a little door so we can get access to feed them and water them and stuff. And then we're going to install the nest boxes, which go here. Uh, and then we have to cut a hole. Amanda wants a run for the chickens, so they're a little bit more enclosed, which is perfectly fine. It's great. And uh, so we have to build that, but it's the snow is rock hard. It's like minus eight, minus nine right now Celsius. We're just gonna putter away at this stuff. Okay, so let's take a look here. We got the nest boxes in. We have wire mesh above the nest box so the chickens can't fly over and get onto the other side. We put a piece of ply across the doorway to keep any of the shavings from flying out. And all we did was secure, you know, a stud to the ceiling 
and to the floor. And then we connected some chicken mesh, chicken wire, to the wall and to the first post. We'll call it the hinge side. And then I screwed some eyelets to the post, top, and down at the bottom. And then I stuck some rebar through the mesh. I just jerry-rigged a little hook here to keep it held open. So then to close the door, you slide it in at the top. And then and then sorry, <laughs> you slide it in at the bottom. And there we go. And now there's a door. And now the chickens have you know, what, 70 or 80 square feet of living space. And there's the roosts. And then the chicken door is going to be right there, which I have to cut out next. Now, what we have to do is open the doorway so the chickens can get in and out. Now we don't want to go too too tall. There's one. There's two. That was three. And that should be four. Now we're going to go to the outside and cut that square out. Okay, so what I did was I connected the, the dots. Now, there's nothing on this shed that is actually level. In fact, it's it drops quite a bit into this back corner. Um, so it's not like it's going to be a perfectly square opening. We're not worried. It's, it's all good. Okay, so we got the hole cut. Now we're gonna bend the metal in so the chickens don't get caught on it. We have to figure out where that one goes. Put a block on the inside. This one. <laughs> There's a big old space.
that one we'll have to find a block and get that screwed in. So we'll put that there for now. Now we're gonna bend we're gonna bend this metal over. That way the chickens don't get hurt. We also need to replace this door, which is right here. Now I picked up a door, just a uh, you know, local market. Don't know if it's the right size, just grabbed one just to make sure. We had one and I can adjust the door frame as needed. So let's do that. As you can see, that door was a piece of crap. So, we are going to work on this one. Let's just see if it's the right size. That is a negative, not the right size, but that is okay.
All right, let's see what that did. I don't think that's enough. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it. You gotta put like six inches on the floor, so that's barely gonna be a layer. I think I'm a little too short for this, Miss Ava. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe a small stepping stool might be good? Well, there's a folding chair right here. That should work. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> you can eat. I wonder if there's any animals living up there. Yeah, looks like it. Does. <clears throat> Would you look, like me to get the chain once you're done twisting that in? That'd be great. For the egg thing spot. Egg thing spot. Nesting box. Yeah, nesting box. Oops. Now we're going to get the shavings open. Okay. Are you coming in to help? Yeah, I'm coming in. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Treat! <laughs> now we're going to add all of the shavings around. Oh, you have something inside your boot. <laughs> now we're going to need to spread some over here. I'm going to get my gloves for this. You're part. fine. Just use your hands. Aren't or your feet. I don't know, guys. No. I don't know if this is going to be enough. We got that half a bin right behind you, but... Not 
Not behind the wood, right? Yeah, keep it inside, Elena. <laughs> Come on. Whoa! No, 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 no. It's not a sandcastle. <laughs> A ramp. A ramp down. And the shipping is first. The run? The run. Uh, shouldn't we like stamp that down just in case they Nope. Nope, it's okay. A chicken can like hang on this instrument. No. <laughs> it's gonna hold the water. I think this is a little long for this. Hey. Stop playing. I think it should be a little harder. Yeah, it's going to wrap up around the handle. Yeah, so the, it'll go like this, and then we'll put the carabiner up here somewhere. Yep. And then it will sit wherever it needs to be to be a good height for them. Maybe like that high. I don't know. I won't know till it's here. Yeah, we need to bring the water in, and then we can figure yeah, that out. The, the food and the water in the morning, we'll bring those over, and then yeah. we'll be ready to put the chickens in here in the afternoon. The dogs. Because they're going to be here around to lunchtime. Yeah. So you guys will have to see them. Tomorrow when you come back from school. Yeah. Of course. You being crazy? Crazy cute. What do we think? Is this enough shavings? Uh-huh. How deep do you think we need to be? Are you pointed at what I just did? So, we should probably get another one just to be safe. We'll probably need two. Do you want to dump what's in the bin? Sure. It's not going to add that much more. It's probably like oh, not even half a bag. Okay. <laughs> right? And that's, yeah, it's just not really even everywhere. This like it's not that thick everywhere either. Yeah. This lower? How about right there? Yeah, you can see the bottom of the wood. Mm -hmm. So spread it. And yeah, and there's going to be, a, we're going to need a lot more underneath where they're going to sleep too. Sleeping, yeah. Okay, so let's dump that bin under, under there. there. Yep. Okay, mm -hmm. let me grab it. I think you just need a garbage bag. A bin, maybe a brute with a garbage bag in it or something up here. I like Hi. it. <laughs> now we've got a place to put the empty feed bags and just a light carrying it over here. Bless you. <laughs> Want to help me dump it? Yeah. Dump. Not behind the wood. Mm. This is behind the wood. Excellent. Okay. I'll start pushing it off. So it's like... <sighs> Doesn't matter. They'll do it themselves. <laughs> when they come. Yeah. Perfect. Beautiful. They need to be settled in. Perfect. So we need to make this perfect. Yeah, but I think we need at least two more bundles. I don't know if we're, I don't know if we'll put both in, but let's have a spare, obviously. In oh, we storage. don't know. We don't yeah. know who how fussy they are, so they might be. They're just babies, not like little babies, but they're like as old as all the other chickens were when we first got them. Yep. So younger than. But not baby chicks. Right. Yeah. Younger than what we have now. Yeah. I wish one of them were baby chicks. That would be we're going to get baby chicks when we do meat chickens later in the summer. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. For some, it's the plan. For some yummy food. <laughs> for some yummy chicken. Chicken. Yeah, but can chicken. we keep one for family? No. Um, chicken is my... That's right. the wrong kind of chicken. All right. All right. Good job, everybody. Mm-hmm. Ha, ha, ha.